Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Today I was working on a project organizing my sewing corner in my bedroom and I was so happy with how it turned out. I thought that I would go ahead and give you guys a tour of my sewing area. I'm still not going to do my whole bedroom video yet, but I thought today I could at least show you this little corner and how I organize my sewing stuff. So this is a sewing table that Tom built me and it's kind of hard to see with the lighting in here, but it's got um, two shelves down the side. One of them has my serger that I don't even know how to use and the other one has a basket that I keep for um, stuff that needs mended. So those things are there and a um, little waste basket for throwing away threads and things. And he put uh, a measuring a yardstick on the edge but the numbers got worn off on this end because I think it was last year, Thomas, my oldest son, would sit in here and do his schoolwork and just him rubbing on it all the time wore it off so we need to get a new one on there. And it's got a little spot where we can trim things which I use this all the time for measuring elastic and stuff like that when I'm sewing. I can just measure it out and then trim it real fast on the edge there. So this was the project that I was working on today. I had one of these uh, thread holders and I outgrew it so I had bought a second one and this one was on the wall over here on the side and then the new one was just kind of propped up behind my sewing machine it kept falling down so I went ahead today and I stained I'd already stained the old one then I stained the new one and got them both hung up here together and got all my threads organized I also went ahead recently and bought a ton of new bobbins so that every single thread has its own bobbin because I was always having to um, pull thread off of one of the bobbins when I needed one and so I thought why not just get one so that they all have one so if you look underneath the new ones don't have actually thread on them that one's an old one that I already had you did it mommy I did it I have a little helper in here with me today you did it mommy um, something else that I did today was I had had this black shelf hanging on the other wall over here and it was just kind of a leftover shelf from another use at some point so I went ahead and I moved it over here and then I sorted all my ribbons by colors and put them up here and then the last jar there has elastic that I use a lot so I like having one you know some of that handy and then my little pin cushion and tape measure and thimble I use those all the time so I like to have them easy to grab. Uh, then we have the scissors in a jar, my sewing machine oils in there too and my pins. And on this side is, this is just for fun, this was my mom's toy sewing machine when she was a little girl and so I like to keep it here on my sewing table. Back here if you can see that, that is that's the wires for the serger and I didn't want to have to fish them out when I wanted to use it so it's plugged in and then the presser foot's down on the floor under my sewing table and then I just put this binder clip on here and a tack so I could hang it up so I could grab it and plug it in without having to fish around for it. So these little shelves were in my closet until a couple weeks ago and I took them out because I was doing something different in the closet and I was going to get rid of them and then I thought, oh, you know what I could do with them? I could put them right here because I've always had a box sitting right here that had my fabric in it that I have bought for projects and it just sits there waiting for me to actually sew the things and these shelves took up the same amount of floor space but I was able to put all the fabric nice and neat in here and I can actually see what I've already bought to sew and sometimes you know it might be a long time before I get to something and it gets buried and I don't know what's in there so this has worked out really awesome I really like this so I can really just see everything and it looks all nice and tidy and I'm not as tempted to go buy new fabric because I can see all the stuff that I already need to sew and work on and probably it's going to save me some money that way. On top I have my sewing basket sitting up there and then this is a wall file pocket thing that I just have hanging here as has my sewing machine book and just other random stuff and I had um, little notes on here about what projects I wanted to do because I kind of forget sometimes that was before I put this up where I can really see it 
but I had been using these old sticky notes and writing down what I needed to sew so that I could um, remember. Above my sewing table is this cabinet that I bought at Hobby Lobby and it was actually made to sit on the floor but I had Tom hang it up for me so it's hanging on the wall there and these doors slide open sideways and all of my fabric that was like left over from pop projects I have put in here and it's sort of kind of sorted by color but it kind of gets messy for me stuffing stuff in there and then underneath of it he mounted some lights to light up my whole sewing table which is really nice and then this I just brought in this chair to try out and I like it a lot I bought this just this last week for my um, my desk because I needed a new chair my other one was broken and so I ordered this one from Amazon and it occurred to me when I was doing all this work in here today that it would work perfect here at my sewing table I did have a different chair in here but the one at our table in the where we eat broke and so I had taken my one that I had in here for the table so I just have been bringing in a stool when I wanted to sew but I am so definitely gonna get this chair another one of these to keep here at my sewing table because I really like it under here next to the sewing table hopefully you can see it I have these two baskets under this dresser right here and this is where I keep all of my patterns that's a pattern that I use to make yeah that's a pattern that I used to make a lot of the girls' dresses. So I made the pieces out of flannel and wrote the stuff. <laughs> Sophie's being noisy. I wrote on them so I'd know what pattern pieces they were and then I can just lay them right out on the fabric when I cut and I don't have to pin it down. Right there, those are all gonna be new dresses for the girls that I'll actually cut like um, three or so dresses at a time. I just lay the fabric all on top of each other and then I put the pattern pieces on top and just cut it all out at once so that I can get them done faster. Then here on the back of my bedroom door I have a fold down ironing board and an iron here and that's an extension cord because if I plug this iron in and this newer iron that I got is like so powerful or whatever that it flips my breaker when I plug it in in the bedroom here so I plug the extension cord into the bathroom and then use it and then it works fine. And the last little thing is up here on the ceiling. I'm getting mesmerized by the fan, but this is a little towel, towel bar that I had Tom hang up for me because um, I needed some place to hang things when I'm ironing or when I'm working on a sewing project. So we hung this on the ceiling right here by the ironing board. And then I can just hang stuff up when I'm working on it. So here's one more look kind of over the whole thing. I do a lot of sewing and I'm really thankful to have this little corner to work in. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my sewing corner and if you want to see more videos on organizing, oh my goodness, she's so noisy. If you want to see more videos on organizing a small house for a large family, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you already subscribed, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and we will see you again very soon.